So 2024 has not been a very kind year for the Power Rangers franchise or the Power Rangers brand in general because I feel like each month or each couple of months it's always bad news and although we've had some good stuff here and there it's been mostly the bad outweighing the good and that's saying something. I mean we've had the Lightning Collection brand go on ice and get cancelled where Playmates is now taking over the toys and they want to focus on MMPR stuff that is not for collectors, which sucks big time. You've had actor after actor getting into controversy, whether it's wanting to put certain quotes on T-shirts. Hitler was, you know, a demon on steroids, but he had mm. some pretty good one-liners. Mm. Or assaulting veterans in parking lots. Not only that, a bunch of other actors have had controversy surrounding them due to stuff getting digged up. So that's not a good look for certain Power Ranger actors here and there. You've also had Hasbro auctioning off a lot of props and suits that they've had used on the show for the past 30 years. So they've been sold off on auctions and some suits have been used very recently, like in Cosmic Fury or Once and Always. So it kind of shows that Hasbro doesn't really care about those suits anymore. And who knows if we're ever going to see them again. Not only that, you had Netflix and Hasbro not come to a good conclusion or a good deal with what they want to do with this Power Rangers reboot which led to Netflix dropping the Power Rangers reboot and Hasbro is now shopping it around on other streaming platforms because Hasbro wanted to focus on this MMPR Redux best of hits thing that they wanted to do and the Power Rangers reboot has been in production hell for the longest time since 2019 and I know there's been a lot of stuff that's plagued it, uh, like the pandemic, you had the actors and writers strike, and not only that, there's been shifts and gears that have turned at Hasbro that has not worked in this reboot's favour. But now, another nail in the coffin has been hammered for this Power Rangers reboot, you could say, as recently, Jenny Klein has removed references two Power Rangers from her website. Now, if you don't know who Jenny Klein is, Jenny Klein was set to be uh, the, I believe, the executive producer for the Power Rangers uh, reboot TV series movie, whatever the heck they wanted to do with it. And Jenny had a pretty decent resume working on shows like The Witcher and Supernatural, Jessica Jones, I believe. So she had a pretty good um, resume on hand with her to work with Jonathan Entwistle. And... Now she's removed that from her website. I'll have a screenshot of it um, up here from Retro uh, Ranger Retro Center where you can see what it used to look like. And here's what it looks like now. So she's kind of taken out the little blurb about her working on Power Rangers. Now, does that mean they're probably going to find someone else? Doubt it. Um, not at this point because we probably would have had some kind of announcement by now if someone was coming to replace her, or we'll hear something later down the line. And Jonathan Entwistle, I feel like Jonathan Entwistle, fucking who knows what that guy is doing when it comes to the Power Rangers reboot, because every couple of years, every couple of months, he comes out of his cave and says, hey guys, I'm working on the Power Rangers reboot. Uh, just letting you guys know that I'm still working on it, so you guys can talk about it. And that's like the most we'll hear of it. And... He's pretty much in the dark when it comes to stuff. I mean, he barely mentions it on his Instagram. I mean, right now, Jonathan Entwistle is working on that Karate Kid uh, sequel reboot with Jackie Chan and uh, the guy who plays Daniel. Shit, I forgot his name. But he's working on that. And if you scroll through his Instagram, you can see like a lot of behind the scenes stuff when it comes to the Karate Kid reboot that he's working on. And if you scroll... Deep enough, you can see one little thing about Power Rangers. One little thing. And that was like from 200 plus weeks ago at this point. So almost a year ago when he actually made reference to it. And I feel like the last update we got from it was either that, like that Instagram post that he made 
or a story post that he made that kind of went under the radar where he posted on uh, Jason David Frank's birthday by saying that Tommy will be the center of everything when it comes to this reboot. And aside from that, we've heard absolutely nothing. Like I said, Jonathan Antwistle will come out of his cave, be like, Power Rangers, drops the mic and then leaves. So with Jenny Klein leaving the Power Rangers reboot, it makes me wonder, is there any hope for this Power Rangers reboot? And will we see it? Because like I said, this has been in production hell for the longest time. And... You have to remember, Hasbro wanted the focus on this reboot. They tossed away 30, 30 years of Power Rangers Legacy for the TV show, for the original running TV show, 30 years of Legacy, just to do this reboot that has been struggling to get off the ground, struggling to make everything off it. I mean, production has ceased in New Zealand. They're no longer filming in New Zealand. A lot of people who worked on Power Rangers in New Zealand has moved on to do different things. A lot of people still think that Pookie's coming back. I don't think that Pookie's coming back, that's for sure. Um, if you follow his Instagram stories or his Instagram posts, he's traveling all over the place. And people do ask him, going, Pookie, are you coming back to Power Rangers? And he's like, no. Pookie, do you watch Super Sentai? How would you adapt to Boom Boom Journey? He's like, I don't watch it. <laughs> So, yeah, there's that. But it sucks deeply to see this Power Rangers reboot have the nail in the coffin delivered to it. Maybe it can come out and be a zombie somehow. I'm not entirely sure. But I remember back, like, in 2020, 2019, when I had faith in Hasbro with the Power Rangers brand, I thought that the the brand would be in good hands with Hasbro. I thought that Hasbro knew what they were doing. They showed a lot of promise with stuff like the Lightning Collection and, like, Beast Morphers and freaking Dino Fury and a little bit with Dino Fury Season 2 and maybe Cosmic Fury. But now, with everything going on, we have no idea what the future of Power Rangers is. Like, a lot of people say that Power Rangers is dead now. And I feel like it's not dead just yet. I mean, there are some things keeping it alive, like the fandom, um, us, we're keeping it alive. The comics are keeping it alive, even though, like, I know not, I know not a lot of people read the comics. But for people wanting new Power Rangers media out there, you're going to have to read the comics. I know people want a TV show, and comics aren't for everyone. And not a lot of people like the comics. But we've got Power Rangers Prime coming out. There's Power Rangers uh, Relaunch Reboot. That looks very good, looks promising, I'm really excited to read it. Like, that's going to be like your only new form of Power Rangers media for the longest time until that comic comes to an end, because that's going to be an ongoing comic book series. And although people shit on Boom, and I've seen it more recently because of certain certain people saying certain things, um, I won't put, I won't, I won't name names, but hey, if you saw their Facebook post, you probably saw my face on there. But, uh, like, I know, like, not a lot of people are a fan of Boom. But I feel like Boom is the only one that is only going to be putting out new Power Rangers content. There are other things in the works, like novels and stuff, but that's Mighty Morphin focused. And when you see Mighty Morphin focused, people go, ah. Um, so, there's that. But, like, with Jenny leaving this reboot... It kind of shows that Hasbro has no idea what they want to do with this reboot. It shows that they're scared to do something with the Power Rangers brand, and that's why they're sort of shopping it around. Um, when people said they want, like, Saban or Disney to buy it back, I would kind of laugh at that comment because, you know, I thought Hasbro was killing it at the time with, like, the Lightning Collection and certain things they did in the show. But is Saban going to come back and buy the brand again is he gonna do like a 2.0 3.0 buy the brand back again and be like who hurt you <laughs> who hurt you my baby i will never let you go again and then we'll see what happens after that but i know like a lot of people shop around with who they want to see uh buy the power engines brand uh, people say disney because you know people say like people say disney um, because you know, people have a lot of nostalgia for the Disney era, and the people's like, Disney season was the goat, and yeah, Disney era was cool, 
but it's not Disney that made that season good. It was the writers, the actors, and the talent involved that made those seasons good. And when you brought on people in the Neo Saban era, yeah, there was a couple of stinkers involved that thought, hey, let's just do word for word for Super Sentai or adapt it play by play. And then Megaforce, Super Megaforce. But like oh, like I said, the Hansborough era was looking very promising for Power Rangers and it's crashed and burned pretty freaking hard. And I'm not going to be like the optimist and be like, things could pick up, things could get better. Just you wait, Hasbro is cooking. I think they were cooking and they left the stove on for too long and it caused a massive fire and they don't know how to put it out or they just let the freaking burgers burn and they're like, here, eat this, it's crunchy. And none of the fans want to eat the overcooked burger. We don't want it. We don't want it at all. But we'll see what happens. I mean, Jenny Klein leaving the Power Rangers uh, reboot is an interesting twist of things. We'll see what happens. I mean, like I said, like I, I, I've lost all, I've lost all, um, like motivation for this reboot. Like you never see me cover it. Like even when we get scraps, I barely have the motivation to cover it and get all hyped about it because I'm like, oh, we'll see what happens. But the comics is where I'm at right now when it comes to covering Power Rangers content. Not only that, focusing on legacy stuff, like doing people like the form stuff that I put out for like every Green Ranger or every Mighty Morphin Green Ranger or every form that Jason had. A lot of people want to see more of that stuff. A lot of people want to see me bring back whatever happened to series, which is something I want to focus into a lot. But with like working five days a week, I don't have time to work on it. Like if I get an idea, I get an idea. But I am going to focus on comic reviews. I am going to try and bring back all, like form stuff and maybe comparing certain things to the Sentai here and there. But when it comes to the reboot, I'm fucking done. I'll cover it when we get breadcrumbs when it comes to news, but when it comes to the reboot in general, I'm just over it. I can't get hyped for this reboot. If we see something of it, we see something of it, but this is in production hell, and I think it's going to stay in production hell for a while. If we see anything next year in 2025, I'll be surprised, but I won't be hyped. Like, I won't be like, I knew it, guys. It could bounce back from this. I don't think it could bounce back from this. And if Entwistle leaves, then it's over. It's over. This is going in the garbage can. Hasbro tried. They had four to five years to cook, and they couldn't cook. So there's that. But what do you guys think of this news? I know I was rambling in this video a fair bit, and I don't know if you guys watched the whole thing. A lot of people like it when I'm on camera, so maybe I'll do more of his on-camera stuff in the nearby future, but I'm out of here, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, take care, and bye.